So when I go spend the day with with my mom and my grandma and my grandpa and um, yeah, so you guys could just keep us all in your prayers. Was your night at Mima's? Was it awesome? Where you did like, you guys go last night? We went to a concert. What's wrong? Oh, what do you see? Do you know what that's called? A roly poly. There's a roly poly right there, you guys. Grab it. Grab it, Dad. No, let it live in the forest. That was cool, huh? Yeah, All right. first I thought it was a stink bug. Oh, yeah, I actually thought it was like a bee or something. You know what's crazy, Peyton? You know what's really crazy? No. Is that this year, in just a couple months, you are going to be going to school. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for day. I don't want you to go to school. I want to. No, please, just stay my baby forever. I like her. I still can't believe that, you guys, that she's literally going to school this year. I don't want you to ever go to school. I want you to stay home with me forever and ever and ever. She's going to school. No, I love <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You can go to school. Hi, right, baby girl. I love you. Have a good day at school. We'll see you after, okay? I cannot tell you or explain to you how exhausted I really am right now. <laughs> we got home probably at 2 in the morning, and then I had to wake up and take the girls to school. And unfortunately, um, Natalia is with her mom. And um, she's having, like, she's going to have a pretty rough day today, you guys, to be honest with you. She's going to have... Um, <laughs> Some pretty hard, hard emotions that's gonna go through her. Um, her grandpa's been really sick for a really long time, and she is visiting him, um, and it may, it may be for the last time. Um, so I just want to encourage you guys. I know that this happens, and I know that this has happened to a lot of you guys, and I know that you know um, dealing with people passing away is is really hard. Um, so if you guys could just do me a favor and just leave her some love in the comments. It's gonna be really crazy for her, so just show her some love in the comments. I know she would love that. So I got some very sad and hard news last night from my mom. Um, if you watched, like, I think last week, a couple weeks ago, uh, my grandpa was not doing too good and he was really sick and my mom called me last night, basically said he's kind of in his final day days they're not exactly sure timing wise but it's pretty much coming to an end for him so um it's gonna be kind of like a hard week i think i've never really lost anyone that like i've been like close to so uh, it's not something that we didn't all see coming but uh yeah, it's just going to be hard and probably hard for my grandma too. So I'm going to go and visit with her today and see him. And my mom said he was really not super responsive yesterday when she was there. So I'm not really sure how he'll be today. But I just want to go spend the day with, with my mom and my grandma and my grandpa. And, uh, yeah, so... You guys could just keep us all in your prayers. Yeah, Jeff's been really helpful today. Like, he's just taking, he's gonna just have the kids today so that I don't have to worry about it and I'll just be with my mom and my grandparents and he's just gonna take them, so. Yep, that's my update for today. So we made it to go visit my grandpa and I'm here with my mom. We're actually in my grandma's room right now. Uh, my grandpa was sleeping and we tried to talk to him a little bit, but he just was kind of resting and not super responsive. But, oh my gosh, we're going through pictures right now. That's me. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I also found some really um, fun, cool pictures of me and my sister with my grandpa. So I wanted to show you. So there's me, chunky toddler, with my grandpa and grandma and half of my sister Jack on space. I actually took a lot of pictures and kept a lot of albums, right mom? Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. My mom's finding some gems in here. <laughs> that was when we lost our teeth and my sister lost her. My sister lost, lost her front teeth before I did and then I lost mine. And I'm pretty sure mine grew in before hers did even. <laughs> So we are toothless together. It's just a lot of fun looking at all these pictures, so we're kind of glad that he saved all of these many memories, but there are a lot of albums to go through. All right, well we are back picking up Sissy, and why are we picking her up? Because she has got the doctor. We do, we have to take Liv to the doctor. So Natalia called me, um, kind of like last minute, and she scheduled a last minute doctor's appointment, so I don't know if you guys, I don't know if we've actually even told them, but basically Liv has had um, something on her side, and we thought it was just like a skin tag, so we went and got her checked out, and the doctor said she was pretty sure it was a wart. Didn't look like a wart to us, but that's what she said it was, so she recommended some like homeopathic um, thing, and I'm not, actually not even sure, like we, we, we have medicine, and then we also do the homeopathic stuff, but if you guys have any suggestions, uh, let me know what you guys would use. But it basically looks like a skin tag and we thought it would go away because she said it was a wart. And it's turned into like almost a bruise. Um, and I'll show you guys when we pick her up what it looks like. But we're going to take her to the doctor, hopefully get her an appointment for a doctor. I have to go the doctor too and check it me too. No, but you're going to help us with Sissy, okay? Hey, pretty girl. How was school today? Good. And do you want to hear like this? No, I I'll take it with my hand. Thank you. No one's in the car, but we have to go to the doctors for you. Did you know that? We're gonna check out that little thing that's on your side. Is Pan gonna go? She's gonna go with us, yeah. Is she gonna get checked? She wants to get checked. She, she said she wants to, but we'll see what the doctor says, okay? But we gotta hurry up and get you there, okay? How was your eye test? Did you pass? Yes. Yes, high five. All right, you guys, this is kind of what we're dealing with right now. It's actually gotten a lot worse. As you can see, it's bruising around the area. You're saying it doesn't hurt, or does it hurt? Sometimes? Like, when you, like, dab it, it doesn't hurt, but when you, when you, like, push on it, it hurts. Okay, so we're gonna see what it is, and then hopefully go to a dermatologist. You know what a dermatologist is? Mm -hmm. That's I have to check a skin like doctor. Oh, and she really wants to get a doctor's checkup, but it's not her turn, it's Peyton, it's Sissy's turn. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes Liv gets a little bit nervous going to doctor's appointments, and I know as a kid I did too, so let us know in the comments if, if you guys are scared or not. Yeah, let us know if you guys get nervous going to doctor's appointments or not, because sometimes it's different for each person. But yeah, and I'm reading a book. That'll calm her down, she'll read a book. One, The news is is that it is infected and they initially thought they were some sort of um, wart. So I guess kids get these like little baby warts, ones that are in school and they are very common they said. But this one has grown to an infection and it's actually the size um, a little bit bigger than a quarter. So basically they gave us a prescription and a cream. So the cream is going to go on three times a day and we need to circle around the space to make sure that the infection isn't spreading so that it is actually getting smaller and smaller and if it keeps spreading or it doesn't move then we need to set up another appointment and we scheduled a dermatologist appointment just to get you guys both at the same time. She did say that she is moving really well and it doesn't hurt her when she walks so that is really good news um, but yeah we just got to keep a good eye on it okay mm -hmm. all right let's go home. We are gonna go eat dinner with Brian and Missy, we're gonna go play some really fun games. And I changed my shirt because the other one was my school uniform. But I turned into this. Anyway, see you guys at dinner or maybe after. Liv is talking to mommy right now. And what are you doing, Libby? Telling her about your spelling words. <laughs> Look how old she is getting, you guys. Just tripping me out right now. Just literally just sitting on the phone while she eats her pizza and acts like a big kid. Now it's Peyton's turn to act like a big kid and talk on the phone. <laughs> What kind of ball are you gonna get? The pink one? Yeah. I hope you get that one. That's yeah. it. All right, let's do it. Okay, 
Okay, there it is. It's right there. Grab it. Let's see what color did she get. Oh, you got like a rainbow color. Oh, I hope I get the, like one of those clear ones. Oh, yeah. Try it. See what you get. Put it in there. See which one you got. Bum, 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 bum. I got Ooh. this. That's cool. All right, guys, it is time for Liv to take her medicine and she's a little bit nervous for it because she thinks it's gonna taste like Peyton's. But I think it's gonna be a bubble gum flavor. Let's say on the top. Yeah, so let's take your medicine and you can let us know how if it's good or not, okay? Ooh, is it good? Is it okay? <laughs> what flavor is it? No, like it's mixed with um, bubble gum, cherry, and strawberry. Oh wow, you got all the good flavors. I am just on my way home and it's kind of been an emotional day today. It's just kind of hard like having moments like in and out of being emotional and just being there with my grandma and my mom. My mom is gonna call me and give me if there's any updates. My grandpa's kind of just in the same state, like he's not really responding. My grandma and my mom are two of the strongest people that I know. It's just really encouraging to see their strength. So shout out and some love to my grandma and my mom and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Here is the damage. This thing is growing and is not looking good. So this is our first day of antibiotics. What they asked me to do is the doctor asked me to draw a circle around the area and it actually hurt Liv to where she started getting a little bit crying. So she's kind of taking it easy. And this is gonna be the first time we do the ointment. So hopefully that helps you out, baby girl. We are gonna end today's vlog. And I know that it has been a hard day for Liv. And I'm really hoping that this ointment heals up because um, it's not fun to have an owie like that Look on you. But I'm proud of you, baby girl. Look at me. Oh, you being a nice to your sissy too. Give us a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed today's video, right? Give it a thumbs up. Wait, I have a question. Subscribe if you're new. I have a question. Oh, you have a question? What's your favorite animal? What's your favorite animal? What's your favorite animal? This animal right here. A tiger? Yeah. A white tiger? Yeah. yeah what's your favorite animal, baby? Um, I have three. What are they? A zebra, mm -hmm. a giraffe, and a cheetah. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be see you guys tomorrow. We love you. Peace. Peace.